Alex Jones, you are full of shit. You are so full of shit. <laughs> you know, I sent you a couple of messages on Friday. You never responded to me. I was in downtown Seattle. You, you've been, you've been sitting around. You've been in Seattle for what? Three, four days now. Uh, tell, running your, running your little mouth about how nobody wants to debate you or how nobody wants to talk to you or, or any of that bullshit. I actually told you I wanted to talk to you. I actually said I'd be a willing participant in a debate with you. But but yet, yeah, you, did, you didn't respond to me. So, you know what? If you're still in town on Wednesday, I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it a point to go downtown on Wednesday. I'm going to walk those same streets that you do. I know exactly where you're walking. Uh, you know, it's, it's down by it's down by Third Ave, uh, by the Bond, but in, in the Westlake area. I, I I know I know those streets. I walked those streets yesterday, and I didn't see you, which, which makes me wonder if all your videos in Seattle are staged. You know, you you you, you sit there and you want to talk about how it's free country, free speech. You know, yada yada yada, blah 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 blah. And you know, you 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 you're looking for people who actually want to openly debate you and actually want to talk to you. And yet, when somebody actually sends you a challenge, you go silent, silent. And, and there's a reason for that. It's because you have to be the hero. You see, in, in your mind, you're the hero. You're 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 the guy that that's trying to to free people's minds. When in reality, it's bullshit. You know, you, you, you spread these lies and, and, and these conspiracy theories without any proof, really. I mean, you, you, you're, you're sitting there and you're talking about how, how you know, you're going to issue a travel advisory to Seattle and Chicago and, you know, all these other cities uh, where white men are um, under siege when it's not, that's not even the case. I live in Seattle. N nobody gives a shit. Uh, as a matter of fact, <coughs> most of the people in Seattle don't know who you are nor care who you are. Uh, yeah, there, there are some people who, who know you who you are, but most people, they don't give a rat's ass about you. They don't care who you are. They, they, you know, as, as you can see from your video in Seattle, you walked by a whole bunch of people and nobody really recognized you except for... Th those few, those few people that that did recognize you, which I do believe were staged, by the way. But but that's okay. I mean, y you you got to be the hero of your own story. It it's just that's just the way it is. I wouldn't expect anything less of you. I mean, the rest of us are all evil slob goblin um, bots who who were raised on MTV and we're not free thinkers and we're slaves to society. So you know. We're, we're the bad guys, and you're the good guy. Give me a fucking break with that bullshit. Seriously. So, you know, I'll be in downtown Seattle on Wednesday. If you're still here, and you want to debate, you know, while filming, that's, that's cool. If not, completely understandable. But, you know what? It, it, instead, of, instead of running your little, little trap mouth, about how how we're all the bad guy and you're the good guy and you know we're you're trying to liberate liberate us and, and your little no go zones and, and and your little fascist Nazism crap. Uh, if we do by happenstance decide to if we do by happenstance run into each other, I, I hope I hope you'll debate. I, I hope you will debate because you know you you come into my town, call the people in my town. And, and degrade the people in my town, even after you talk to them, you, you degrade them. Because you have to be some sort of hero. So, you know, if you want to come into my town and, and, and speak like that, and, and degrade the people in my town, well, guess what? Put your money where your mouth is and, and debate the issues that you can't prove. I, I, I saw you on on one of your Infowar videos and you, you pulled up some stat from Google? Like, that has anything to do with it. That doesn't mean shit. You know, you, you looked at one stat, ma made a quick conclusion, and decided that was the fact. That wasn't the fact. 
there, there, there are many things that go into that. You know, why don't you try corroborating the evidence instead of, you know, you know, spouting your mouth off about bullshit? Because, like I said, you have to be the hero. You, you can't be the bad guy. You see, to you, you're the bad guy to everybody else, and, and you're the hero. That's not even, that's, that's the furthest from the truth. Anybody can pull up a stat on Google and say it's a fact of life. Hell, I could do that in 10 seconds. It's not that hard. You, you don't do your research. You just see some article posted somewhere and you take it for the God's honest truth. You don't do any research. You don't make any conclusions. As a matter of fact, your conclusions are of the biggest are, are the biggest lies and they're the biggest lies. So, you know what? If you want to talk, and I mean seriously want to talk and, and debate this and, and actually, you know, put your money where your mouth is, then let's talk. If not, fine, whatever, who cares. But I will be in downtown Seattle. I will be walking the no-go, your no-go section. And, you know, like I said, if we run into each other, we'll talk. Other than that, shut your mouth about Seattle.